Howdy, my name is Billy. I'm one of the librarians at Lone Star North Harris Library. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about making zines. In our previous video, we showed you some examples of zines. Now let's talk a little bit about making zines. So there's a lot of different ways to make zines. One of the easiest is to just draw your own zine. You can use anything for this. You can use things like plain pencil, a pen, markers, color pencils, uh, crayons, whatever you feel like. Um, you do need to make it aware uh, if you are reproducing this on a black and white copy machine. You may not want to use uh, colored pencils or anything too colorful because it won't show up on there. Uh, but if you're scanning this into a computer and then printing it out, or you're using a color copier, then definitely the more color the better. So another way to make zines is by using collages. Um, if you have some old magazines, I know a lot of us, we don't uh, really subscribe to magazines or newspapers that much anymore. But if you have some old uh, magazines, you can go through and you can uh, cut out letters and you can cut out uh, different pictures from it. And then you can reassemble those onto um, your sheet of paper, which is using maybe a pair of a scissors and a glue stick.
computer. So you can use programs like uh, Microsoft Word or Microsoft Publisher or even Microsoft PowerPoint to do some simple page layout type things. Uh, if you have some scanned images, you can bring them in there and do some uh, basic cropping and other uh, types of manipulation. You can also use programs like Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator to do some more advanced uh, photo editing. If you are a student at Lone Star College, you can download a free copy of Microsoft Office, which includes Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and Publisher from the OTS website. If you go to the OTS website, uh, and we'll have a link down in the comments um, to get you there, uh, if you go to the website, you can get some more information about doing that. Also, if you're a student of Lone Star College, you can get Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator at a reduced price. Again, there's more information about that on the OTS website. There are some free alternatives to Microsoft Office and Adobe Photoshop and uh, Illustrator. Um, there are some really good programs. The GNU Image Manipulation Program, or GIMP, uh, is a free uh, raster uh, photo editing program. Uh, and it can do some really, really good work. A program for editing vector graphics is Inkscape. So this does a lot of the same things that you might do in uh, Illustrator. And finally, there's Open Libre. This is an open source office productivity uh, application suite. So it has a word processor, it has a uh, basic page layout program in it. Um, these three programs are available for Windows, Mac, and uh, Linux, and they are free and open source. So check them out. And that's just a few of the ways that you can make a zine.